Hi, my name is Ashley. I'm 13 years old and I have POT syndrome, aka postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. I'm um, just going to answer those questions. And yeah. Um, ha, 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 ha. Okay. How long have I been sick for with college or other stuff? I, this might be a long video. <laughs> I've been technically, I guess you can be sick. Now I was probably sick since I was 18 months because I drink engine block syrup, which you put in cars. I believe to say your engine like that has a hole that's going all the way down sort of into my stomach internally. Um, so I have GERD, which is stomach acid reflux from that. Um, I've been, I don't know if that wrecked my immune system or anything, but now when people have a cold they wait in my school, and I come in anywhere contact with them, even if they are away from the room, I will get it really badly. And also with POTS, they think I've had it since I was young, like nine maybe. I don't really know when they think I've had it, but it just then it just got to the point in September when I started passing out every single day and still not that well controlled. Um, I'm sick a lot, like even though it's summer now, I'm having really, I'm sweating, it's not even that hot. Um, yeah, let's see. Um, how long do you think you've got? How long do you think you got? Yeah, I think I did something wrong. How were you diagnosed? Um, how do you think you got ill? Um, you don't really know how I got ill. It could be many things. Um, some of it might be genetic because my mom thinks when she was younger she had it. It could be I've had many colds in the last years. Like I said, I think I've had it since I was nine, but I just put that to they some of the symptoms they didn't add it up and then just got to the point where I passed out every single day. I'm still kind of doing that and I have like headaches really bad, really, really bad some aches because of my GERD, but they kind of can't describe why. So yeah. Um where I live, I live in the USA. Um things that you do. Um, yeah, things that you do to treat symptoms. Uh, dang, I forgot to bring the medication bottles up, but um, some of the medications that I will list are not all for POTS, they are for other conditions that I have, which I will say later. But I think Nexium, like I already said, my GERD, which is stomach acid reflux, um, Metadrin for my blood pressure, uh, which I take three, one Nexium, three Metadrins, I take salt tabs, I take eight of those day. But I've cut it down a lot because my it hurts my stomach. I think um, I take lyric, I take the generic film, which is gabapentin. I take three of those a day. I take potassium, magnesium, or I could just say that wrong. Iron. I think that's it. Um, the gabapentin I take three of. I think three of them. I take one of. What else do I think? I think that's it. Um, other things that I'm you're going to be doing so i'm going to be starting a cardiology rehabilitation um for my heart and stuff um to start physical therapy i'm going to get um medical stockings or tights to help with blood pressure with the blood flow because every time i stand up it works so yeah oh i kind of missed uh one question how was i diagnosed um i went to my cardiologist let's say i never met him he's through children's he as soon as i walked in he like scheduled he um he looked at my um everything all my symptoms and everything everything i've been through kind of and then he put a blood pressure thing on me he made me uh told me to lay down and sit up and stand up i did not do the tilt table test yet then he should have told me i think it's been called pop but then i had to do blood work and roll out things then in January 22nd, I believe, 2.13, that cell table test, it was the worst experience for much of my life, and then they declared me a pox. Um, okay, are you able to go to school? My school situation was really weird. When I first started passing out, and we didn't know why, they would not let me in school until my doctor gave them like rules to follow. So for two months, I was not allowed to come to school. Um, so I'm, I'm sick right now if you can't tell i really don't feel well um oh and by the way i'm going to be um tuesday tuesday yeah tuesday on this channel okay um my school situation was really weird and then when i came back i couldn't do full days so then i do half days um and then i did 
Math LA, then on A days I did also math workshop. Um for the three classes in school, then I was home hospital taught which a um teacher came to my house or the library and she taught me either social studies or science depending on what term I was in. And my school story is kind of weird. So maybe one day I'll make a video on that, but that would make this video really long. I had to explain it. Um what type of doctors treat you? I go to a lot of different doctors. I go to a cardiologist, the one that diagnosed me. Um, I see him here, uh, not every month anymore. I haven't seen him for about two months, which is kind of bad. I need to see him again, but soon because my metadrin is not working, like not that many things are working. It's working a little bit, but not really doing anything for me. Um, I see a pain pain manager doctor because I'm always in excruciating pain. Well, maybe not always, most of the time. Um, I see, it's gonna sound crazy, but I see one GI doctor, and I see another GI doctor, or two GI doctors, nothing really different. So I'm gonna be seeing another GI doctor, which is gastro something, with your stomach, and he specializes in pots. By the way, all these doctors are through children's. So I think that's really good. Um, yeah. Let's see, let's see. Any other conditions I have? Oh god. Let's see. I have GERD, which I've already said, which is stomach acid reflux. I have asthma. Um, we think. I've been having nerve burning, which I've been having for a while now. Um, they, I haven't been diagnosed as far as my elder, but they are taking that into consideration because my sister does. Um, I spit up blood. Um, they don't really know why I've been in the hospital at children for two weeks and four days. Um, what they are currently making videos on, I will be making them on Tuesday. The random stuff about me. Hmm. Who would be doing any stuff? I like tacos. Um. Hmm. <laughs> like hanging out with friends that I can, but I mostly can't. Most of the time I can't because I'm usually ill and can't do that much stuff. Future plans. I didn't really have any. I for high school I went to audition, which I'm not in eighth grade, but one like in January next year of eighth grade I want to audition for high school. That's a musical theater slash theater school. And hope that you know, but I don't know how many actions I'm gonna have this year. Uh it's been awful for the last many years. But yeah. So just to recap, I guess. We think I've had pop since I was nine. I have like many things. Um, I, I try to be a kid, but sometimes it can be hard being sick and not being able to do stuff like run around um, without passing out. I get exhausted really fast. My stomach always hurts. Um, I've been having great like all of my size and currently they don't know why. I've been having headaches, uh, vision loss. I can't, I can't see that well anymore in glasses. Um, you know, it's been hard for me to eat. It was, I mean, I've been, it's been, it's been, it's been, I've still been eating, but my stomach's been telling me every time I eat. So, yeah. That was kind of depressing, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah. Anyways, my name is Ashley. Don't forget that. Don't wear it out. So yeah. See you next week on Tuesday. Bye.